What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be installing these coilovers, True Heart Street Plus, on my 95 Del Sol. Uh, not today, I should say this video. This is probably going to take a couple days because we don't have everything we need, but we'll see. So these are the coilovers. Got them right on eBay. It was about like 500 bucks or so, so they're probably going to feel like shit, but it's for the Del Sol. I don't drive it very far every day, so it'll work. So we kind of skipped filming for the first one. This is the first one in. We're not totally done yet. You can see this is the gap that we're going to have. We'll get, we're going to do a more in-depth video when we do the rears, but it's going to be pretty much the same process. Um, you can see we got this one bolted in on the bottom of the wishbone here. And uh, this, so now we're going to have to jack this up so that it'll close this gap so I can get the bolt through right back there, which will pinch it onto there. And then she's done. And then from there, I can adjust the preload from this. And then this will adjust ride height if I have to. I can always adjust ride height. These are pretty much set for almost the max that they will go. I mean, I probably could have gone a little more, but I wanted to keep like some threads in there. So, uh, yeah, so it looks like it's about like maybe an inch, an inch and a half drop so far. So that's what we got. All right, so we kind of stopped filming last night because it got dark and we were just trying to get it done because it was late. But we got the front done yesterday. This is what the front now looks like. As you can see, there's not much gap here. Like, my hand's hitting the wheel well cover right there. It fits like my fingers. I could probably go lower, but I'm just trying to get them on for now. I could always adjust it later. And that's the difference with the rear. You can see, I can actually wiggle my hand in there. So, we'll see the full effect later. We're going to go ahead and start on the rears now. Rears, I might go a little lower than the fronts because there's not as much shit going on in the rear. So, we'll see. All right, after a bunch of fighting with it and a nice trip to the store for some hardware and some uh, other unexpected issues, we got the rear in. Uh, this is the passenger side. You can see it's in. This is where you adjust the preload. That's where you adjust the ride height. We have it set to pretty much maxed out, which is still shorter than the stock shocks. So, yeah, pretty much just two bolts at the top up here, which you should be able to see from up here. Rawls going to grab it and show you the, those bolts. So there's two bolts up there, which are nice and easy. I think they were 14s. You got a bolt down here. I forget what size it was, but it's just one bolt. This one was a bitch because mine snapped, so we had to replace oh, it. Jack. And then yeah, there's another bolt, I think, right here. I don't know if you can see it. That's for the lower control arm. You got to disconnect that so you can get the whole shock assembly out. Everything was not that hard except for the, you know, good old Long Island rust. So we're going to go ahead and start on the other side now. All right, we just finished putting the wheel on. About to drop her down. Let's see what we get here. All right, go ahead and send it, bro. Oh, man. Fucking slammed. All right, now it's time to do the other side. So we jacked it up, removed the wheel, started cranking this bolt off, and lo and behold, it fucking snapped in there in a different spot than the other one. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a saw and cut right across here. And hopefully... When the saw pops off from there, uh, the bolt will be able to just, we'll, we'll be able to remove this piece from the bolt here and then move the whole shock to the side with this little ear off. So the bolt will be able to just get hammered out of the side. We will have to kind of skip a step and then drop uh, the control arm first so the top of the shock comes out. That way there's room for the shock to move out through the, with the bolt to pop out of the bushing. Because there's no way this one's coming out. We tried drilling it, it's not moving. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Have to get on the other side. All right, so we just finished cutting off that ear there. You can see the bolt was broken through right through it, so we just got to cut it. We're trying to see if we can get it out. Um, might wind up having to replace the bushing in there, but I'm really not too worried about that. I just want to get this thing back on the ground. All right, after lots of cutting and lots of problems, uh, we got it out. You can see we had to cut both ears off because the bolt was seized in there. Here's the one that the bolt was stuck onto. So we couldn't get this out. It just took some persuasion, but we didn't really have too much, too much trouble. 
So now all that's left is to pop this guy in right up there. Should be fairly simple and we'll finally be done with this nightmare and then we'll get to see the final product. All right, and that'll be right about now. All right, so here comes the finished product. Uh, thanks, Brian, for letting us use the uh, garage for this. I know you're at work. Big shout out to Brian because this would have sucked outside in the wind. But we got the front done. We got that side done before. This is the last one. It's all buttoned up. We're ready to go. So uh, go ahead and watch this. Watch the difference, guys. Coming down. <laughs> And that's what I call the Dell slow and low. Well, thanks for watching this video. I know it kind of sucks. We didn't get to film everything. We're, we're still working on getting like a tripod camera set up. We'll do some time lapses for you. Basically, this is a pretty easy job though. Uh, you'll see a lot better videos when we start taking apart that 350 with Joe for the Grand Prix. So, all right, this is uh, Hunami. You guys have a good day. So this morning we're going to bring the dome top piston over to the engine shop, see if we can get it measured out and get flat tops for the same boy. So we have the piston over at the shop. Uh, the guy there is doing a little research for us on the right piston to replace mine. So we're gonna go buy their shoes. Right, Brian? Oh yeah, we're gonna go harass him. 219,000 miles and, oh, one, 2,000, 219,000 and one miles. Wow. <laughs> Almost made it to the moon. All right, what'd you do to it? Hey Brad, put your hand down there. So that's, uh, oh look at the bolts for the exhaust that we rigged up the other week. See how close that is to the ground? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the exhaust tip is already all bent up because of the scrapes. <laughs> Please let me see that. If you, get, you can get a shot from the back if you go back here. It's right there, you see how it's all punched up in the center? Like right in the middle of the car. Oh, yeah, wow, it's right in front of this. Problem. <laughs> We're dropping it down more in the front inch, probably this weekend. Nice. Shitty location. Yeah. Look at that thing. The hatchback. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that a Corolla? I think so. Oh, Look at that, that thing. Is that a Thunderbird? Whoa. Oh, funky cars out today. Man, St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Alright, so the shop is ordering us some new flat top pistons. So we're gonna pick those up in a couple days. I'd like to say we'd have it running by springtime or summertime, but if you know anything about working on cars, you know that deadlines aren't usually met. So it's a little later on now. I'm 
Jack or the gas station. I'm gonna get some beers because it's St. Patrick's Day. And we're on our way to see Judas Priest. Judas Priest in Saxon. It's gonna be awesome. What's up, bro? What's up, man? some Judas Priest. Yeah, we're seeing Judas Priest. Hell yeah. Me and you get Monty driving. Yeah, take that to a concert. Yeah. He's driving. Hell yeah. Bonus. 80 style. We're already seeing 80s bands. Sure are. Two 80s bands. They come back, fucking bust it out of the old cars. Hey, I hope they're still alive by then. They will be. Yeah, too bad. 